to share the battery on the phone with more battery because it could be the other way around if it was supported on that one so you on the phone with the usually on the newer phone you will have this option for battery share on android 14 phones and up maybe 13 also 13 12 13 i think so on the newer phone usually you will have the battery share option samsung phones they have it this uh, sony xperia has it I think Google Pixel also has it. So go to settings and then battery. We have battery here. So add on battery. And here on the battery settings, we have battery share function. And it's making a nice animation about how it actually works. So it will set the limit to 30% or you can change the limit so you don't deplete the f your main phone too much. And I just have to enable it. So now I have, it's telling me place the other device on the back of the phone. Where is this arrow here? This is where the, the wireless coil, this is where the charging coil is. So this phone, I can actually close it and I will put it, I will use the, the phone with the higher battery, I will use it as a donor phone and then this one will go on top of it, like that. Okay, let's see what happens on this side. So when I touch the phones together, ah, okay, the battery share function only works when you enable it. So you have to enable it and then do it yeah it's showing here charging starts when you place the okay so should be on let's see on the other side it's charging i see charging Okay, so now it's off. It's a bit annoying that it goes off by itself, but what to do? Can't leave it like them. Leave them like this. Yeah, as soon as Yeah, I removed the phone and it says the battery share function stopped. So I so I have to manually enable it again. This is a bit annoying, but okay. That's fine. So put it there and share the battery. This is useful for a really serious, oh, it went up a bit. It's only for the really times when you don't have any charger or cable around and you really need to charge your phone quickly. Otherwise, always good to have a charger, at least a charger cable with you so you can actually charge the phone with the cable. Also, with the cable you will have quick charge and it's much faster than the wireless charging. 
and while you're charging one phone you can still use the other one and keep it disabled just in case when you don't need it thanks for watching